hey guys welcome back to my channel today i want to share with you guys my top two favorite palettes for the fall one of them you guys are probably going to be jumping out of your seats yes it is the right palette for the fall or any time of the year really because such is a really good palette um the other one you guys are gonna be like what are you talking about i have no idea what you're talking about but let me explain so if you want to see my top two favorite palettes for this past fall then just okay. keep watching so to start off we're going to talk about the most talked about palette probably ever um that anastasia has ever come out with this is the modern renaissance palette it comes with two four six eight ten twelve uh 16 shades in it um it comes with mainly no, it is. It's all warm toned. Um, really? So this is what it looks like. I have swatched this before. If you guys do want to check out the swatch video for this, then you can just um, search through my channel. It's definitely there somewhere. Um, but uh, this is definitely perfect for the fall, mainly because of these orangey and dark brown shades on the ends right here. Um, and Anastasia always kills it with the um, <coughs> as I die. <coughs> Excuse me. Kills it with the blendability and the pigmentation in the palettes. They're always so perfect. Um, so, yeah. I just adore this palette. I think it was everything it was supposed to be. I think it's perfect for the fall. I think it's perfect for every fall. And I definitely think you could work with these colors even in the summer because they are so warm toned. Um, you can definitely get some bronzy looks out of this, definitely. So, I definitely loved this palette um for this fall most definitely and the second one is going to be its sister and its sister is the subculture palette this is the palette i know everyone on youtube or in life in general is not so very happy about however i have dipped into this palette more than a million times to use and my palette is not destroyed I've seen so many people destroy their palettes trying to use it to get pigmentation from it. But you only really need to just tap. Tap your brush into here and use it. Now, regardless of what other YouTubers say, uh, like the bigger YouTubers, a lot of people make fun of them because some of them have done collabs with Anastasia and say, okay, well, you've done uh, collabs with her. She's paid you. You get paid on YouTube. So you're just going to say it is a good palette. It is whatever. I have 44 subscribers currently. I get maybe 13 views on my videos. And I have no reason to sit here and lie and say that this is not a shitty palette I think it is a great palette if you know how to use it right um, I think that if you use it sparingly this will last you an extreme amount of time um, because the amount you need to even cover your entire eye is ridiculous um, I don't know if maybe I just got one of the good ones or maybe some people just got a fluke kind of palette and it wasn't made correctly I don't know um, but the subculture definitely is one of my favorites. I actually really do like it. I think it's perfect because there are so many different colors in this whole palette that you could use for basically anything. Um, I love the yellow and orange shades on the bottom most definitely and at the top if you could see that reddish shade, I really love that shade. It's like a purpley mauve color. I have um, the subculture on my eyes right now, actually. So, if you can use it sparingly, I know a lot of people are just so used to digging in their palettes to get that pigmentation to work. Um, but if you use too much of this palette, it's going to look patchy. It's going to have fallout all over the place, and it's not going to look nice. So, Getting this palette, you need to use it sparingly. Just dip your brush in there just a little bit. I even blow it, blow on it, blow off the excess off your brush. You'd be surprised at how much actually clinged to the brush that you can use for your eyes. So this is a pricier palette. I know that, but 
I think that it was definitely worth the money for buying it. But I just wanted to mention these two palettes to you guys just because fall is coming to an end. And I did have a lot of fun with makeup this fall. And these two palettes really did come in handy when I was doing my eye looks. Um, I got a lot out of them. And they did have a lot of use in my life and on my eyes especially with different things there's so many different colors in these palettes that you could pair them with anything um so it was really really great to use these palettes if you guys have any questions about these palettes or want to know tips on how to blend out your eyeshadow or what brushes to use for the subculture palette that worked for me you can drop a comment down below and i'd be definitely happy to answer any of your questions that you have for me um but other than that i don't think i have anything else to say except Please subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications to be notified for when I post videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!